What you guys are looking at is it one of the biggest, most expensive cubing unboxings on all of YouTube and definitely on all of my channel. I want to give the biggest thanks to Speed Cube Shop who sent me out these cubes, or technically I took them out myself, for a great Christmas present of myself and I would definitely recommend that you go check them out in the link in the description below. Big thanks to Cameron and his support of my channel. So let's get right into this. Hey guys, what's up? It's QB time, and in today's video we have a monstrous unboxing from SpeedCubeShop.com. So, I am one of the most thankful people in the world right now because this box containing over $500 worth of cubing merchandise contains so many puzzles, including the entire Diam Gem series. So let's just get right into this, starting out with the Diam Gem, Diane Gem 1. Now I'm going to try to go through these puzzles kind of quickly because I know this video could take a pretty long time. So this is the Gem 1 out of 7 gems. And this does make up the bulk of the package, however there are 20 cubes and only 7 gems in this box. So. I am very excited overall. So this one is an edge turner it seems. It seems to turn pretty nice. It looks pretty cool. Um, I think this might jumble in some sort of way. I'm not 100% how all of these turn yet, but I definitely will end up figuring that out eventually. But I'm pretty sure this one just right now, as I can tell, just turns on the edges. But um, maybe something else will um, come up. I will probably make an entirely uh, separate video on the Diane gems as a whole. This is the Diane gem 2 um, This one is also looks very nice. This one doesn't come in a plastic bag though um, It comes with extra stickers which are gonna probably be very useful for a lot of these puzzles. So this is the gem 2 This one turns actually really nice. This one looks a lot more complicated than the gem 1 definitely um, it has a lot of moving pieces. Um, these faces turn as well as those faces. This is very nice, very high quality puzzle I would say. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to learn how to solve all these, but I'm definitely probably going to try to scramble them all. And if I can't solve them, I'll probably take them apart and put them back together. Because a lot of these puzzles are very challenging from what I've heard. So in this one we have the Gem 3. Um, more stickers and stuff, so I'll put that over here. And then another paper or plastic bag. So this is very cool as well. Um, it kind of looks like the gem one a little bit, not really though. Um, so these faces do turn, it seems. They're a little bit catchy. These these bigger faces turn. Okay, so this seems like to be a pretty normal puzzle. Um, I think it jumbles or something like this maybe perhaps? Uh, maybe not actually. Um, maybe it just turns like this. I'm not 100% sure yet, but um, this one turns very well. This one is probably the best turning one so far. I like this one. This one definitely has some weight to it as well. The Diane Gem 4. Let's check this one out. Wow. Okay, this one looks strikingly similar to the 3. But I know a lot of these puzzles look pretty similar. But I'm pretty sure this one turns differently. So it's probably not... It turns on this axis still. This one seems to have a lot more moving parts inside of it. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't turn here, but... Um, maybe through the middle? Yep, there it is, the middle. Wow. So this is like a five-layered puzzle. Very cool, very, very cool. This one definitely had a lot more moving pieces inside of it, and it's a lot heavier than the three. Now to the five. Let's take a look at this one. Ooh, I remember this one. This one was, uh, to Cube Dude's favorite because it turns so well, so let's just take a look at this one. Oh yeah, he's right. This one turns really well. Um, turns on these, just these faces right now as I can see, and through the middle. Definitely turns very nice. Uh, pretty cool puzzle. Or his favorite was the nine. It was one of the smaller ones, but this one looks pretty cool. I think, okay. Um, a lot of these are gonna be very confusing, but um, this one is definitely a, a pretty cool one. Then the coolest one by far, the Diane Gem 6. Now, I've heard so many people say, oh wow, it's so much smaller than I thought it was going to be. And this thing is tiny, actually, compared to what I thought it was going to be. I thought it'd be the same size as like a Gigaminx at least. No, this thing is actually tiny. Compared to a 3x3, it's almost the same size. 
Now this one is an extremely complicated one. I've heard it's like a Dion Wheel of Wisdom with the pieces all showing. So I'm gonna be pretty careful because it's a very big and complicated puzzle. I know it turns along here, but it's having a lot of trouble doing that right now. Um, there we go. Starting to get it. it. Catches really easily. It's like a Pyraminx crystal on some of these. There we go. Very cool. It's very gentle. I'm definitely going to have to do some work with this because it doesn't turn very well right now, especially. But um, I think that's all that turns on it. Maybe, like, yeah, this top part turns as well. Wow, this is going to be an extremely hard puzzle. I probably won't scramble this one like my void truncated Icosa dodecahedron just for the turning of it. It's not that great. Now the gem 7, which kind of looks like the gems 3 and 4. But it's definitely not. It's a little bit different. Um, the faces are a little bit squished when you look at it. Um, okay, so these faces turn here. Um, I might turn through the middle or something? I'm not sure. Um, all I see is these faces right now turning. This definitely has another face that turns. There's no way. It's just that one. Um, well right now that's all that I can find, but I guarantee there's definitely another face that turns on here. Um, I'll have to figure that out in the future. This one is actually extremely light. Then the last Diane Gen, Diane Gem Cube. Um, this one, uh, maybe this one was his favorite actually. This one is pretty cool. Um, this one probably turns very well also. Um, so let's check this one out. Oh yeah, this one turns great as well. It's like a Pyraminx kinda, but it's not because it has this thing. But I don't really know what any of these are or what they're based off of. It turns very nicely. Um, all the layers are very, very fast, very smooth. Definitely a high quality puzzle. I think this one's the best turning maybe except for the five. All right, now let's get on to the rest of the puzzles. So that's all the dying gems. Now I have some speed cubes and some other different types of puzzles. So this is the, um, I believe, the Chi Warrior W. Now I really wanted to pick this thing up. Um, I've heard a lot of hype about it um, surrounding that it's pretty good. First off, the shades are pretty weird actually. And um, it seems to have a different finish on the plastic. It's like matte finish. So let's just try this out. I'm pretty sure this is a low budget cube. Um, it turns really nice for a low budget cube, except I think there are some better cubes in a similar price range that are actually a little bit better than this thing. Um, it's smooth, but it catches a lot. Um, it seems like it has a very robust mechanism, but overall it's just not that great. I definitely have felt better cubes, um, but it's still decent, I would say, um, overall. Next, we got a puzzle that I really needed. It's an it's a mini Along V1, and I just needed an Along V1 to complete my collection, and there goes that box, it completely collapsed. So I just got the mini Along since the Along one, version one, like regular size isn't available anymore. So I just snagged this one up while I could, because these are slowly running out of stock as well. Mo, you stopped producing this. So this is an Along version one mini. Um, hopefully this could become my one hand in main, so let's just do some first turns. Well, right now it's actually really sluggish. It definitely needs some lube and some breaking in, but um, definitely a really good puzzle. And now I definitely have every Moyu uh, product. The Waylong version one, Waylong version two. Same thing with the Along. I do need an old batch one, but that's okay. Um, this thing performs very well. I haven't turned an Along in a really long time, actually. Um, this thing actually has very good one-handed potential for me as well. I've been using a GTS just because it's a pretty floppy cube, but this thing definitely has some one-handed potential. Um, next we have an MF4S. I have the MF3S, the MF2S, or whatever they're called, and the 5x5 version. And I wanted to get the 4x4 to complete the collection, so first turns. Well, first impressions, it feels like any normal 4x4. If this thing is budget, that is definitely worth it. It seems like it's very stable. Like, it's definitely a lot heavier than, like, something like 
a Cyclone Boys G4 or a Wukwe. This thing is actually pretty heavy, or it might just be because it's really tight right now, but I actually really enjoy this. This is definitely a very good budget 4x4, definitely. Um, definitely would recommend this. This is one of the better puzzles I've tried in a while. So I noticed this video is actually getting pretty long, so I unboxed the rest of the puzzles off camera, and they're all just laying here, and I thought that would save some time as well, and I'm also going to go really quickly through the rest of these. So this is the new Chi Wuhua 6x6, and let's just do some first turns. This thing is really fast. Definitely a really fast cube. Um, it feels like my broken in Aoshi, it's very smooth. Yeah, it doesn't seem to lock up either. This is definitely some good competition for the Weishi GTS. Um, definitely would recommend that. Let's check out. This is the Yushin Huang Long 7x7. So, um, first turns. Whoa. Was not expecting that at all. I was expecting this to be like just a big cube that you play with. This is a speed cube. In fact, I think this might be the best 7x7 on the market. It's stable as far as I can tell and really, really fast. Wow, definitely impressed. Pick that up. That is the best 7x7 on the market, no doubt in my mind. I've heard some really good things about it as well. Then I got these two budget pyraminxes. This is the YJ Yulong pyraminx and the Chi Yi, uh, I think like the Che Chen or something like that. They're both around 8 bucks. so let's just try out the Yulong first. Ooh, strange. Okay, this thing doesn't have ball bearings, I don't think, or anything in there. It's just smooth, and I don't think the tips do either. Um, it's really clacky, and the flooring cut is really small. I don't really like this pyramid because it kind of locks up a little bit. Um, it's corner cut's good like this, but in solves, it tends to lock up a little bit, or just turning like this. Yeah, I'm not a real big fan of that. Let's try the Chi one. Hopefully this one's better. Woo! <laughs> okay, this one is definitely better. <laughs> it's fast. It definitely clicks into place really well. The tips... Oh, wow, they're excellent. They're like Shang Shao tips. My favorite. Um, definitely a big fan of this already. I think this might be one of the best ball bearing pyramids on the market, if not the best. This is a budget pyramids, and this is, in my opinion, better than the Moyu ball bearing pyramids. Though it might not stand up to the magnetic pyramids on the market. This is a Shang Shao Pyromorphinx, and I used my Mosey one to make the 2x2 pyramids, the real 2x2 pyramids, which is one of the most popular videos on my channel right now, so you should go check that out. But um, this is the Pyromorphinx, and let's just do some first turns. <laughs> well, my Mosey one is definitely worse than this. This thing is very fast, very good. Um, great shades. Um, I think overall, Shang Shao did a really nice job on this cube. Definitely a good turning puzzle. It probably even corner cuts. Yeah, this is very well made in every aspect. I don't know why I got this. This is a Chi or QJ Tetraminx. Not that good. Turns pretty bad. Just needed it for collection purposes. I'm not really going to mention that. This is a crazy windmill cube. Again, for collection purposes, since I have the crazy Yi Ling and stuff. Um, this is just an okay puzzle as well. Um, turns really nicely because it's made out of a Yulong, but nothing really to talk about. It's pretty old. Alright, winding down to the end here, we have this. This is the Hello Cube 2x2. Two two. First turns, it turns like a dying 2x2, two two, but a little bit more clicky. Um, definitely a really good puzzle. I would definitely recommend picking it up. I enjoy this. Uh, it's gonna be a really easy solve, but oh well. Um, pretty good puzzle. And then last but not least, we have the MF8 Starminx, which right now is really, really slow. I just got this for collection purposes to go along with my dodecahedrons. Um, does a sledgehammer. It's pretty big. Um, turns okay, I guess, for now, but I'll have to work on it a little bit. And again, this is a pretty old puzzle, so there's not much to talk about. So that wraps up this ridiculously huge unboxing from speedcubeshop.com. Again, huge thanks to them. Check out their store in the link in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment what you want to see next on my channel and which one of these cubes you want me to review. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Bye.